Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to program a new key fob for a Toyota, Lexus or Scion. So in order to do this, you need a mini VCI cable and text stream. Uh, you can get the software for free, download it for free. For this, look my tutorial which appears in the caption of this video. The mini VCI cable is pretty cheap. I got mine on eBay for about $15. So uh, just do a search. Now, uh, once your TechStream software is installed, simply run it. Now here it displays version 16, but the software is actually version 18. It will be displayed correctly in a few seconds. We just have to wait. Yes, version 18. Okay. Now I'm going to do connect to vehicle and it will detect automatically my car, which is a previous 2010. The software is very slow, so you have to be patient. Here, this uh, reduce functionality is not a problem. Just click offline mode. And as you can see, it correctly detected my car. Uh, I only need to specify here this option. So always the same story with Windows, they always have these meaningless bar graphs. Just wait some more, a little more. A little more and there we are gee this is crazy how long we have to wait anyway so uh, this is the list of all the modules now the software hasn't accessed yet all those modules so it doesn't know the, the state and uh, in order to do this we can do a health check And again, this is very long, so we have to be patient. And here I'm going to fast forward the video because there's no point for us waiting for the results. All right, so. Okay, so now that's good. Everything that is in white, um, these are modules that have been detected. And the ones with a store, these are the ones that actually are not existing on my car. Okay, now if we want to program a new key, you go to Smart Key, as you can guess. You wait a few hours more. Okay, these are old codes, uh, history, they, these are uh, the, those codes that happened in the past, they were stored, but now if I look at summary, no malfunction now, so now everything is working. And uh, in order to program the key, 
let's go to active test and uh, I'm wrong we don't need to go to active test we need to go to utility and smart code registration now uh, use this one not the classic one use this one go next and now uh, it tells you what to do so turn the engine power switch on but engine off so you you depress well that depends on your course I'm not going to describe um, what you have to do this these instructions are specific to my core for your own core you will have specific um, uh, specific um, things to do so check them make sure that everything is checked and then this enables the next button Click next okay now it says that I still have five spaces available for recording for recording some new keys I have already two keys that are registered okay and um, okay well all you have to do is to click next now it gives you some more um, uh, indications of what to do I cannot explicitly show you the steps because my keys are already programmed and the software can only program a key that is blank so I cannot erase it and redo it in order to show you but at this point all you have to do is just to follow the instructions okay so there shouldn't be any problem so I'm gonna stop here and exit so once again the the tutorial for installing the software for downloading it installing it and activating it this tutorial is available in uh, the caption of this video okay so uh, all you have to do is follow the instructions thanks for watching